going live to talk about one book, one Frankfurt. Uh, my name is Stacy, and I'm Diane, and uh, we are really excited about this program. Uh, it's going to be taking place in April. Mm -hmm. um, one book, one Frankfurt. For those of you who aren't uh, familiar with uh, the the program, it's something that we do here at the Paul Sawyer Public Library every April. Um, it is a community reading project where we encourage all of the folks in Frankfort and Franklin County to join us in reading one book um, in, during the month of April and then coming in and participating in um, lots of themed events around that book and also book discussions. So we're getting folks um, out of uh, their reading rut and sort of reading outside the box and joining the rest of the community to, to read and discuss and, and um, really have a great time doing it. So, uh, this is our fourth year doing this uh, one book, one Frankfurt. Um, first year we did the Beekeeper's Apprentice, then the Martian, the Art Forger, and now this year we are doing Tender at the Bone. It is a nonfiction memoir by Ruth Reichel. And we have it here, if you can see it. Um, as Stacy said, this is, this is our big announcement. Uh, our book this year is Tender at the Bone by Ruth Reichel, and we'll tell you a little bit about that, um, the blurb from that book. Uh, at an early age, Ruth Reichel discovered that food could be a way of making sense of the world. If you watched people as they ate, you could find out who they were. Her deliciously crafted memoir, Tender at the Bone, is the story of a life determined, enhanced, and defined in equal measure by a passion for food, unforgettable people, and the love of tales well told. Beginning with Reichel's mother, the notorious food poisoner, known as the Queen <laughs> of Mold, Reichel introduces us to the fascinating characters who shaped her world and her tastes. From the gourmand Monsieur de Croix, who served Reichel her first souffle, to those at her politically correct table in Berkeley who championed the organic food revolution in the 1970s. Spiced with Reichel's infectious humor and sprinkled with her favorite recipes, Tender at the Bone is a witty and compelling chronicle of a culinary sensualist coming of age. So, uh, it's a really great book and we we're excited to choose this for you for this year's uh, One Book, One Frankfurt selection. Um, as that, that uh, blurb sort of describes, um, it's funny, um, it's, it's gritty at times, it's real, um, it's, there's surrounded by food and family um, and I think there's a lot in there that folks will be able to relate to um, you'll have some laughs and uh, and there's even recipes in there that you can try so that's kind of fun too so. yes both, both of us have read it and it is an excellent book yeah, we're excited for you to read it um, for those of you who might not be familiar with Ruth Reichel um, we'll tell you a little bit about her she um, was actually the, the chief editor, uh, editor-in-chief of Gourmet Magazine from 1999 to 2009. Before that, she was restaurant critic both of the New York Times and the Los Angeles Times, where she was also named food editor. Um, she uh, began writing about food in 1972, and that was when she published Mmm, <laughs> A Feastiary. Since then, she has authored uh, critically acclaimed best-selling memoirs, Tender at the Bone, which is our selection this year. Also, Comfort Me with Apples, Garlic, and Sapphires. That's kind of the follow-up to Tender at the Bone. So if you love that, you might want to pick that one up after. Um, and also, For You, Mom, Finally, which is, uh, those books have been translated into 18 languages. Um, in 2014, she published her first novel, Delicious, which Stacy has read, and she read loves that. too. It's very, very good. So... If, if you're inspired to do so, you might want to check some of those out after you read Tender at the Bone with us. Um, a little bit more about Ruth Reichel. She hosted Eating Out Loud, uh, three specials on the Food Network, which covered New York, San Francisco, and Miami. Uh, she's the executive producer of Gourmet's Diary of a Foodie, um, and the executive producer and host of Gourmet's Adventures with Ruth. She was also a judge on Top Chef Masters. So I know a lot of you are into into those types of shows, so that's kind of a cool, cool aspect of it. Um, Miss Reichel has also been honored with six, six James Beard Awards, so if you're a foodie, you know what a big deal that is. Uh, she holds a BA and an MA in the history of art 
from the University of Michigan, and she now lives in upstate New York with her husband, Michael Singer, who is a television news producer. So that's a little bit of a background on our author for this year. Uh, we are also going to have lots of events to go along with this mm -hmm. book. Um, and those events are going to start in April. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to stay tuned with our news newsletter, stay here on Facebook, and um, check out our website. We're going to have those dates released soon on when the registration for those events will open up and, and what those events are going to be. But they're good stuff, so you want to keep an eye out for that. Um, and we have free copies of the book for you to read. While supplies last. While supplies last, yes. These go very fast. Um, we are going to start handing them out Monday, March 26th. Mm -hmm. So mark your calendars. Come get one of these books. They're going to go fast. Um, so make sure you get a copy and you read it. It's yours to keep it or uh, pass it on to a friend, mm -hmm. someone else who gets to read it. It's a community read, so we want to share it and have as many people in the community read this book and be a part of this as we can. Uh, so I think that's and all of our events are free, so yes. um, it'll be a lot of fun. We have a variety of things, like Stacy said, um, we'll be having book discussions, we'll be having um, some more crafty type things, I know those are really popular um, with our patrons, and, and some other things that are, are themed around um, this book and sort of the food and uh, food and family and food bringing folks together. Stuff that, that I think people are really going to enjoy. So. All right. We hope you're as excited as we are about the selection. Um, if you're just tuning in, our One Book, One Friend for It selection is uh, for 2018 is Tender at the Bone by Ruth Freckle. So uh, we hope you'll join us in reading it during the month of April and come to our programs. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you.